Just two years ago, this was a sleepy seaside town popular with backpackers. Now, Sihanoukville is a Chinese construction site. Gambling is illegal for Cambodians, but it's thought there are more than 70 casinos open or under construction in this special economic zone. The target market is not Cambodians, it's Chinese tourists. Some Cambodians are benefiting from the investment in the form of jobs, but others are being forced out because of the construction and rising costs. When I moved to my restaurant here, the rent was lower, and I don't have many customers because I'm on the outskirts of town now. I didn't want to move here, but I had no choice. Sihanoukville is an important part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to link Asia with Africa and Europe through loans and investment. Trade between the two countries is up more than 20 percent, and most goods come through here, Cambodia's only deep-sea port. This area also holds strategic value for China. Sihanoukville sits on the Gulf of Thailand, which then becomes the South China Sea, where China is involved in territorial disputes with several Southeast Asian nations. Cambodia isn't one of them, but instead of siding with its neighbours when it comes to the dispute, it sides with China. There have even been reports recently that the Chinese are planning to build a military base along this coast. The Cambodian government says it's not true, and in fact, it would be unconstitutional. But all this is happening at a time when the West is threatening to punish the Cambodian government through economic sanctions, following a dramatic decline in democracy and human rights. Investment from China generally comes with less social or democratic conditions. China seems to come and say, oh, um, I understand your conditions. So let's work together, make it happen. I don't care about this kind of thing. But the government in Beijing does like stability, and the influx of Chinese coming to work in Cambodia has created some social tensions. It's estimated that around 20% of the population of Sihanoukville is now Chinese. The local government says there are no problems between the communities. They do their business, they do their investment. So it's not, it's not the, uh, a part of conflict between two people. China's ambassador to Cambodia recently described the relationship between the two countries as forged in steel. Judging by the pace of change here, that sentiment is being taken quite literally. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Sihanoukville, Cambodia.